A resolution tonight in a disturbing case of child abuse out of Midwest City. This comes nearly five years after a woman was arrested for abusing her stepsons. News 4's Ashley Moss was at the courthouse this afternoon as the sentence was read. Ashley. It was a 10-year suspended sentence, essentially five years in and five years out. Taylor Ainsworth Hudson's attorney telling us because she'd been through hundreds of hours of counseling and community service, they'd hoped for probation. Family told me earlier they wish the decision hadn't taken so long. Are you sorry for what you did? Did you apologize to the family? Taylor Ainsworth Hudson was led away in handcuffs shortly after hearing her fate. Judge kind of split the baby, so to speak, and uh, Ms. Hudson was sentenced to a five in, five out. That sentence for a child abuse case that rocked Midwest City. Family outside the courtroom said the day's outcome was long overdue. They were withheld from food and drink, so a monster, just a horrible, horrible monster. Nearly five years ago, police were originally tipped off to then alleged abuse by the woman's sister showing up twice in one day to a home for a welfare check. They found him in the washer. The boy also saying Ainsworth Hudson bit him several times, stomping on his left leg and telling him to shut up or quote, I'll beat you more. How could a biological or step parent at all lay their hands continuously over and over and over on a nine-year-old and a six-year-old. Inside the courtroom, the judge referencing those countless injuries, saying her sentencing decision was due to the woman's poor decision making. I believe that the decision that Judge Plumbo made today was a just one and a fair one. She's grown up a lot and I think she's understood the error of her ways. I don't think she's going to come out and reoffend whatsoever. But after that chronic abuse. I wish she could get more than five years. I wish she could go for life for what she did to those boys because the effects are going to last forever on them. Taylor's lawyer says she'll be up for a sentence modification after a year. Family members say the children involved are still being treated for severe trauma and abuse. Their father also convicted and sentenced to jail.